Somewhere in Thailand, a Swiss man is jailed for 10 years for painting on posters of the king. YouTube is blocked in Thailand over a video offensive to the king. The censorship provokes users to post their own inspired videos of the king, and the press observes in their own clumsy way. Angry Thai people watch the videos in the thousands. Despite their suggestions that the video was, quote, wrong, there seems to be great demand for videos mocking the Thai king. Apparently, there are a lot of losers with nothing better to do than to search out and watch videos that will make them angry. But if making the video is a crime, why can't Thai people seem to get enough of watching them? And they do their divine king a great disservice by being such nasty people. What kind of country produces people who write things like this? Eventually, a mysterious user emails several of us with various threats in an official way, though with broken English. Several of us agreed and emailed the user. We would remove our videos, but only when the Swiss man, Oliver Jufer, was given a pardon. I removed my first video after it had been viewed over 12,000 times as a sign of goodwill. The next day, Oliver Jufer was pardoned and deported back to Switzerland. So what happened in Thailand? Was Oliver Jufer freed to counteract the growing YouTube censorship incident? Did someone realize they were only making the issue bigger and provoking more ridicule? Or did the Thai king intend to free the man out of compassion all along? Maybe we've learned something today, and maybe the Thai people have too. The king of Thailand may be better than divine. He may just be human. <laughs>